Let's take off the here because that's the parable. It's a form of literature related to the parable, an instructive and short narrative. It raises questions about morality and ethical principles, which can be understood by transferring them to another realm of imagination. The events in the foreground have a figurative meaning for the reader. The parable makes the reader think and recognize a real life through the derivation of what it is meant in general. The reader should understand the work of the author in reverse. Okay. Hey, yeah, my name is Zeb, and welcome to the Stanley Parable, a game about decisions, a game about choices, and a game about me, and a game about you. I finally got all the achievements. Well, except the speedrun achievement, the commitment achievement, and the unachievable. But yeah, let's not wait for too long, and let's start. The end is never the end, it's never the end, it's never the end, it's loading, never the end, it's never the end. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Hey, we're, we're at the Stanley Parable. Oh, it's been so long, I can't, I can't believe it. I don't know why I don't make this sound effect right now, but that's alright. I tried for a day to make a Stanley Parable mod, but failed. You can easily mod it with the hammer editor. Also, there are a couple of Stanley Parable mods, and, and I finally can play them now.